Hello and welcome to another Blender know-how tutorial. In this video we're going to learn how to use the wireframe modifier a little bit and how to get around some of the things with it. Uh, with this one I just created the simple Suzanne head that comes with Blender as this will be the quickest and easiest way to demonstrate the capabilities of the wireframe modifier. So let's go ahead and open up a new file and I'm going to delete the cube and hit shift A and add a mesh of a monkey. I'm also going to do one other thing. I'm just going to turn on this down in the bottom left corner. This is just to show you what keys I'm pressing. So it's a little bit easier for you. So I'm going to hit the one on the numpad. Just go to the front view. I like to work in some of these views a little bit easier. And then I'm going to go to the modifier tab. Hit add modifier and click on the wireframe. It's pretty much that easy. Honestly, like that's as easy as it gets. I will also, just to get a little bit interesting, is sometimes as some of your objects you might want to do this with, just create the subdivision surface and you'll see that it does this and that's okay. You can, if you like that style, go for it. But if you want the actual wireframe view of it, this is, it makes it look a little bit nicer, I think sometimes, for some of your objects, not everything. But for the Suzanne one, it makes the edges look a little bit more round uh, as some of them just don't look, if you take this off, it kind of looks more choppy. And that's how some of, some of the times you want it, and that's okay. Uh, so I'm just going to turn this back on, and voila, you really have it right there. It's that easy. Uh, I'm just going to talk about, a little bit about some of these things over here, though. So the thickness is obviously how thick these are going to be. I leave it at the default as they are for the Suzanne model, it's pretty good. You could go really thin. Actually, 0 point, uh, zero 0.01 isn't too bad. It just gives it this really th thin look, which is kind of cool. Makes it kind of like a spider web. Uh, you can also do this offset. Now, offset is pretty easy. I'm going to turn on replace original or turn off replace original, so you can see a little bit about what this offset does. It'll position it inside or outside of where it originally was. So if I want it on the inside of my model, I can put it all the way to negative one. If I want it all the way on the outside, I can put it all the way to one. This doesn't really matter if you don't have your object there for a lot of the things you're doing, but let's just say you have your model there, you wouldn't want this on the inside. It would be kind of defeat the purpose of it. You would want it on the outside or at least halfway in between. Uh, halfway in between is generally the that's the default, so it's probably pretty good. Or you can just have it at, yeah, I meant to put 0, not 0 0.5. 0 0.5 would be halfway between all the way out and in the middle. So 0 is halfway. Uh, replace original, that will just take the original object and put it into wireframe. Relative thickness and even thickness. Even thickness will make sure that they're all the same thickness. It's kind of self explanatory. Relative thickness boundary, your options you can use. I don't really use these two very much. This one could be applicable. Replace original depending on your case. Maybe you want it to be a Spider-Man look. <laughs> the monkey for some reason has that look. The last thing that's kind of neat is the material offset and when you go to composite, this is kind of more of an advanced section, but when you go to composite you can actually make it so that you can change just the color of this. So for instance if you have like this you can have your base model one color and your wireframe another color, which makes it kind of neat. Uh, you would just change this material offset and then your compositor increase or decrease your material offset index. And hopefully in another tutorial I can show you a little bit more about that, but that's a little bit more advanced for what I was hoping to get to into this tutorial. Um, so I'm going to put it back here and that's pretty much the tutorial that I wanted to explain a little bit about the wireframe. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask them in the comments. Hopefully I can get to them. Um, thank you so much.